Hello again. This monologue will be a brief summary of the four evolutions that are actually making people healthier and happier. Um, these are the four evolutions that explain why they are doing it, but it also will help you into becoming a health focused company. Enjoy. Welcome to the Healthusiasm Monologue by Christophe Jouquet, a spoken column about making customers healthy and happy. So I've made a 25 minute monologue that explains more elaborately um, why people are more than ever occupied with their health and why they are taking more and more actions to impact their own health. Um, this three to four minute monologue will explain to you and will recap in a way the four different evolutions because these four evolutions are important for you as a company um, to really serve the primary need of your customer, which is being healthy and happy. And the first evolution is the technological evolution. Customers have accustomed to becoming who or what they want to become. And that is thanks to technology. Technology allows us the tools, which are cheaper than ever, the platforms to learn things, as well as the customers, the people, the audience that we want to reach. And thanks to these three elements, we are in the power of becoming who we or what we want to become. If you want to become a singer, we can become a singer. If you want to um, write a book, we can write a book. More than ever, these things are possible. If you want to become a runner, there are tools and apps that can help you persevere in running. People have accustomed to the fact that technology helps them to become who or what they want to become. That is the first evolution. The second evolution has to do with how brands and companies create value. Um, first, in the past, it was very much related to commodities and products. Brands and companies put out products. Then we moved into services because we wanted to differentiate from our competitors. Since 2014, well, we can say it was 2014, customer experience is a predominant um, battlefield, if you will, for brands and customers. That's where they make the difference. That's where they differentiate themselves. Since about a year or two, in my opinion, it's more related to transformations. Companies can create value for their customers if they offer an experience that is that personal, that the actual customer feels transformed, that he feels better. It's no longer just about experiences. It's no longer just about a general experience. It's really about a personal experience that changes a person deep down. This is the second evolution, the economical evolutions. So it's really important to understand what are the personal transformations, the personal experience experiences that you can offer your customers to create value? What is it? What are the personal experiences you can offer? A third evolution has more to do with um, the way that people behave, the way what people want in their life. It's the psychological evolution. Um, because more than ever, um, what we've seen is that the basic and the emotional needs of people have been fulfilled, certainly in, in Western society. So more and more what we see is that um, people aspire to become a better person. Um, and that's very obvious and very visible um, in the way that they go about sustainability, the planet. Um, people want to choose brands and companies that um, are sustainable. Um, but they also want to, want to choose brands that um, take into account diversity and inclusivity. And in the same way, they will choose brands that help them in becoming healthy. Those are the three aspirational trends we see today. Sustainability, inclusivity and um, diversity, and finally health. So the question really is, um, do you know the aspirations of your um, customer? And do you know what aspiration that they have related to their health? And can you actually help them? Because yes, they really expect it from any type of company, whether you are Nike or Mercedes, or whether you are a hospital, they really expect you to help your customers in um, achieving those uh, aspirations. And the fourth evolution, of course, has to do with this pandemic reality we're living in. Um, the COVID-19 crisis has made health probably the most popular um, word, 
And, and what we see now is that um, while people previously would merely focus on those aspirational needs, um, they have gone down into the um, hierarchy of need, the Maslow pyramid, and they also need their basic needs to be um, fulfilled. Good health, work, sleep, um, all those things are very important today and they are looking for safeness. People more than ever are looking for safeness. Um, a second thing that we see is because we are, most of us are locked in our own houses right now and most likely still will be for several months to come, maybe up to two, three years, we might have these uh, ups and downs of, of, of lockdowns. More than ever, we need togetherness. That's the, the emotional needs that we, that we currently are missing. It's the mental health part of this all. And so the question is, how can you as a company help um, uh, your customers with safeness, with this togetherness, and obviously still with that wellness, this, this aspirational of becoming a healthier um, person. Those are the four uh, evolutions today that we see that, ha that makes people want to become healthier and happier. It's a technology evolution, the technological evolution. People are accustomed to um, becoming who they want to become. And that, that's also the case for health. They want to have an impact themselves through technology on their own health. Second one has to do with the economical evolutions. They are looking for personal experiences that are offered by you as a brand, a company or a healthcare institution. They are themselves more aspirational than ever before. They really want to become that best possible version of themselves and they really want to become as healthy, as happy as possible. And then finally, the societal evolution, the fourth evolution has to do with the need for safeness and togetherness, which has been added on top of um, the, the aspiration of becoming as healthy, as happy. And this is how you as a company today can actually help your customers uh, and becoming healthy and happy because it's our duty to really help them. This is what they want. This is how they make choices. This is what is really valuable um, to them. Um, so let's help our customers and our society into becoming as healthy and happy as possible. Let's make our customers healthy and happy. I hope you enjoyed this enthusiasm monologue and I hope it was to your help. I must say that I take Every Wednesday and Friday calls from companies that wants to briefly discuss 40 minutes, brainstorm about how they should incorporate health into their vision, mission, strategy, marketing, communication, whatever it may be, their tactics. I'm having calls every two days a week um, to see where I can um, bring my um, knowledge and insights to all sorts of companies. So feel free to reach out through LinkedIn, via my website or uh, via mail. Um, I'm happy to respond and take your call. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.